Welcome to Inner Lightroom Minute. I'm Toby Shinobi and today I'm going to be talking about Luminosity Masks in Lightroom Classic. Luminosity masking lets us create masks based on luminosity values or specifically how light or dark an area is. Previously you can only add luminous masks in conjunction with gradient masks. Now you can create a luminous mask on its own. Clicking on the new masking tool will show you a range of options to choose from. Select luminance range and a new mask panel will appear, indicating that you're creating a luminance mask. Click on your image with the eyedropper tool to select the luminance range you want to affect. Clicking on a dark part of your image will select all the dark parts and clicking on a light part of your image will select all of the light parts. In the bottom left hand corner of the mask panel, make sure show overlay is checked so that you can see what areas of the image the mask is affecting. You can customize your selection with this slider, which targets the range and the falloff. Adjust the main band to set the range of tones that the mask is applied to. Adjust the two triangle markers at the bottom of each end of the slider to change how gradual the falloff is between the areas that are selected and the areas that are not. By clicking and dragging the dot in the center, you can move the entire range one way or the other. This slider allows for very precise masking. What makes luminosity masking great is that you can add a whole range of adjustments to just a specific part of an image based on how light or dark it is. For example, you can apply noise reduction just on the dark areas of the image rather than on the entire image. For more control, you can use luminance range masking to add or to subtract from other masks, invert your selections or even intersect multiple masks. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.